What is up, Pick For Realers? My name is Pick For Real. Um, you might, you might, you might have guessed what this video is about if you read the title and or saw the thumbnail. Um, if you didn't, then um, why are you watching this? But that's besides the point. Um, Jojo review, yeah. Jojo review. No, um, we're reviewing part five. Vento Oreo or Golden One as the anime is called. Um I I finished it not today, I finished it a couple days ago. Um I'm already in Stone Ocean. I'm I think twelve chapters in and there's like a hundred and sixty I believe. So oh it's gonna take forever and I've heard that it's like one of the worst parts, so <gasps> but um no one no one cares, no one cares. But um to review Vento Oreo uh, I haven't seen it in, a while, in like a couple days, so I'm not fresh off it. I've already forgotten, like, the beginning. The beginning is just, like, part four, where it's, like, pretty much useless. I shouldn't say that. I think it, it's not that useless, but it's not the actual plot. Um, should I tell you guys all the characters? I should, shouldn't I? Alright, um... The main Jojo this time, his name's Giorno Giovanna. Vanna? No. Giovanna. Um, I don't know where he gets Jojo from that, but I... I don't know. But, um, and then, um... Bruno Bucherity. I said that name wrong. I said that completely wrong. My pronouncers are... I am... My pronunciations are going to be a lot worse than last time because, or at least I think they are. Um, and then like I, I think I've forgotten the names as well. Um, and then Guido Mista. I know how to say that name. No, I don't. I lied. It's not Guido. I know it's something else, but um, I don't know how to pronounce. And then um, Abacchio, right? <laughs> Pronunciation is spot on. Um, and then Narancha. No, Narancha. Oh, and then Fugo. I forget their first names, so I'm not saying them. All right, um, freaking Giorno has gold experience, which is like, I don't know. What was it like? I'm not sure. And then Bruno has sticky fingers in the dubbed. It's called Zipper Man. <laughs> and then, um... Now, Mista has a, um, sorry guys, bad word, um, he has sex pistols, <gasps> I said bad word, oh my god, Susan, Susan, I swear, Su no, and then, um, what'd I say, Abacchio has moody blues, and the dub is called moody jazz, <laughs> the dub names are so dumb, no, and then, um, what, who would I say, no, I think Narancha, Nartra has, um, I forget the name, I'll be back. For some reason, my, all my mic was low volume, I have to cut that out, but nobody cares. Um, what, what was I? Alright, um, Narancha has, um, Aerosmith, I looked that up, I forgot it. <laughs> and then Fugo has Purple Haze. Uh, yeah, um, let me tell you the basic plot. So, Giordano joins this gang called Passione. I think that's what it's called. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, he wants to take down the boss because they're selling drugs to children. I'm pretty sure that's why. <laughs> but, um, so, Bruno tries to whoop him, but fails. Oh, also, um, Kochi, the big bad bitch from, um, last, last part, he's in it. And Jotaro, Jotaro, whatever. But, I didn't mention them. I just thought I should've. But, I didn't. Yeah, they meet, and then Giorno joins, cause he whoops Bruno. And then, the boys there, and then, um, they get, um, then they have to protect the boss's daughter, Trish. Yeah. Cringe. No, um, I don't know why. I, don't, I actually don't know why. They just have to. 
I forget why. But um, they have to send it to the boss himself, the big boy, the daddy. What? No. <laughs> no, um, yeah, they have to send it to the boss. And then uh, they there's like this other team. I think it's called the Squadra. I'm probably wrong, but whatever. They try to whoop him, but they fail miserably. And then they get to like the place where the boss is supposedly at. Then, um, they're in an elevator, Trish gets whooped, Bruno is like the ultimate simp, and he tries to save Trish, and then he dies, but then he comes back to life. Like, it's a load of bullcrap, this is like, he's pulling a Joseph again, he's pulling a Joseph, but like, he actually dies, but his soul goes back into his corpse, it's so weird, so he's dead, but he's not. It's strange. It's really strange. Um, yeah, like, Bruno's a simp. Like, that's... And that's why they lead... That's why they, like, try to beat the boss. Oh, yeah, by the way, the boss whooped Bruno. That's why he died. But, um, then after that, like, literally everybody except Fugo, um, goes to, like, like, revolt. Is that the right word? No, I don't know. Like, to go beat the boss or whatever. Fugo's baby that bitch. He said suicide. Um... I heard that he was supposed to, like, betray the team and, like, become a spy and then die. I don't know. I heard that somewhere. Um, but he, he just left and never came back. Bro, he be about bitch. But, um, alright, um, they're now not, like, they're now trying to game in the boss. Now there's, like, these different, um, like, boss elite guards or whatever. They whoop him. And then they go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Before, before they, um, before they do... They get, um, I, I don't know if it's before or not. They get, like, a voice message from someone saying that, like, they, they said the name Diavolo, which is the boss, to go to Rome or whatever, like, the Colosseum. Colosseum? Yeah, I said that correctly. No, I didn't. So they go to Rome or whatever. Um, Bruno's getting whooped by this, like, what was that stand called? I don't remember. I don't feel like looking it up. All right, and then they um, then we find out that Paul the ref, Paul the ref from lat from part three is back. I love Paul the ref. He was the best character in that in part three. I'm so glad he's back. But then he gets whooped instantly, and now he becomes a turtle. He becomes Mr. President. I mean, <laughs> if you don't know who Mr. President is, he's like a stand that they get in the like half the in like the beginning. It has a key you can go inside. He has a room. It's weird. He becomes Mr. President. Uh, yeah, because like they switch bodies because of Silver Chariot Requiem. Because um, I think Polnareff uses the Requiem arrow. Oh wait, no, I think Silver Chariot uses it. I don't know, because he gets like Polnareff just dies. Now he's the turtle. I don't know if like he dies from the. I don't know, but yeah. Then, like, <laughs> they all switch bodies or whatever. Bruno's in Diablo's body, but then, like, when they switch bodies, when they kill when they kill Silver Chariot Reckham, Bruno just dies like he was supposed to. If he died, then, I would have had much more respect. But, like, bro, that's a load of bull crap. I mean, I kind of wish he just died there. That would have made more sense to me, but, like, they would have more of a reason to revolt. Because, like, he killed Bruno, so they would want to avenge him. But, like, that didn't happen. I don't understand. But, um, I think that would have been better. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. But, yeah, they killed... Uh, oh, um... Uh, Giorno gets the Requiem. Oh, no, actually, Diofla gets it. Is, oh, it stands King Crimson, by the way. Did I even mention Dapio? I haven't. Um, he's, like, the other person. Like, they're... Diablo and Diablo are the same person. I don't want to get into it. Um, and then Gior Giorno gets the Requiem error. He uses it. becomes um, Gold Experience Requiem. And he whoops um, Diablo. He's in an instant time loop of dying or whatever. And then um, the only three that survive are Giorno, Mista, and Trish, I believe. Um, they all just die, pretty much. Abakio dies earlier. And then uh, I think... Uh, what's it? What's it? What? Narcha dies, and then Bruno dies. So those three die, and then 
Then Jordan up becomes a mob boss, whatever, like mafia boss. Mister and Trish are just there. And yeah, it's the end. Um, how do I rate it? How do I rate it? Um, probably nine out of ten. I mean, Vento Array was really good. I really enjoyed it. It was really good. I love the um, switch around. Like I don't know, like in the middle where like they revolt. I don't know. I think that's pretty cool to me. Oh, but I still like that one as a breakable well, better. I mean, that's still my favorite, but not by much. It's either that I like that one as a breakable well, better, or they're tied. I'm not sure. So my rankings for all the parks would, from right now, would be. All right, last one. Part one. Part one. The beginning and all. I know that. Jonathan is so boring. He's boring as hell. Uh, Dio's good. That's the only thing that's good about part one. I mean, it's just boring. And a lot of people can't get into JoJo because of that. Bro, I barely got into JoJo. After part one, I didn't want to, like, I mean, I watched the beginning of part two. I mean, but I was barely watching it. But as soon as I got into, like, I would say part four, I started to watch it much more. Because part three, part three is right above part one. I think part three is overrated. Um, part three for me, it's dragged out. There isn't a story like there was in part two. It's just like weekly stand battles and they never learn a lesson. Like Avdol, he should have died with like when, when Whole Horse and the mirror guy killed him. They sh he should have died then. That would have made much more sense. But no, he came back in his death scene. What? Vanilla Ice just sucks him up. That's such a lackluster death scene. Bro. <laughs> Freaking. Iggy's death was more emotional than Avdol. A freaking dog. That we barely see. Iggy was in only in battle in Egypt. Avdol was there from episode one. I. Yeah, that's right above part one. And then after part three, I would say part two. Um, right middle ground. I love part two when I watched through it. I thought it was really good. But the writing was lackluster, in my opinion. Um, Caesar could have gotten more of his own fights. But the only time he did get his own fight, he got whooped by Wamu. Wamu, whatever. It's kind of sad to see. Caesar was very under underdeveloped. And I could see... Like, I think, I think he's overrated of a character. Just like, I don't know, like, I think part two is not the best, but it could have gotten, it could have been a whole lot better. Um, all right, um, number two, number five, because I just explained why I liked it. All right, number four. Wait, no. Why am I doing number? All right, part five, part five is above part two, and then part four is above part five. I loved part four. I love, like, the serial killer crap, like, hunting that. I love that crap. I mean, I've seen ID on, on TV. Like, as horrid the, like, murders are, I find it interesting, like, the investigations and crap. So, like, I don't know. It, maybe that's just a niche for me. But I like that, like, murder mystery crap. Um, but... Either way, I, I loved um, the characters in part four. I loved them. They were really great. <sighs> After I read all eight parts, um, I'm going to... Um, I'm, I'm already on part six. I just said that. After I read all of them, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to go on... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to like do a, like a tier list. I thought I was going to do it one through five because they were the anime. I didn't think... I wasn't going to read the manga... But I did. Now I'm actually... I kind of wish I just read it instead. I enjoy, like, reading the manga more than watching it. I don't know. Um, it, maybe that's just me, but... Yeah. Um, part 5 is good. Not as good as my favorite, though. I wonder how Part 6 is gonna last. It's probably gonna be one of my least favorite. I don't know yet. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, I was trashing on it before I, wa before I like... Bro, the beginning of part six sucked right up until um, Jotaro was um, revealed. After that, it just got a whole lot better.
But um, I don't know what's gonna happen. But um, yeah, I'm in the video here. Hopefully you agree. Maybe you can. I don't know. And then I'm gonna end the video here. Yeah, probably no. I'm not gonna add any gameplay because I don't feel like it. So uh, yeah, I'm in the video here. Bye.